Hey guys, so Hobie Hill, Deep Dungeon Games. So here we are again, still carrying on with Deception uh, videos. Um, on this guy right here, this game we're going to be doing for Deception, uh, it's called Giants and Soldiers. Um, a D20, a D4, uh, multiple people, about seven minutes to play. Uh, super fun game, awesome. I love this one. It takes the concept of being uh, one versus many and, and really tries to add that flavor to a game that you can play and with the lore segment it's just great so yeah so check it out and if you like this video let us know don't forget you can get uh the pdf copy uh through deepdungeongames.com you can find a print on demand version uh hardback or softback through drive through rpg and if you are on roll 20 you can also find it there with a few other a uh, few of our other items so if you like what you see, check out the other videos. Let us know in the comments uh, what we can do better. I know my videos aren't great, but I try. So without ado, here is Giants and Soldiers. All right, guys. So here we are playing Giants and Soldiers. So um, this game is really simple. Uh, cool concept. I really love it. Uh, as all the games are, they're very easy to play, very easy to understand. At least, I mean, I wrote them. So, I mean, I kind of understand them on a different level, but I hope you guys will understand them just the same as me and i hope you love them so for giants and soldiers it takes a d20 and d4 um probably more of these guys but you can use just one that's fine if you have more cool if you don't that's fine as well as with all the games um, this game is designed to be a dealer versus one player um, each individual player must attempt to beat the dealer's numbers um, and yeah, so the dealer rolls four d20 dice. The player then rolls five d4 for each of the d20s, representing the valiant soldiers attempting to take down the mighty giant. So the d20 is essentially your giant, and then you're going to have a bunch of these guys as your soldiers. So I'll go ahead and grab some more of these little d4 guys real quick. Um, I have a few of them just laying right here. Okay just to symbolize all of them. And you can kind of get the concept is, you know, you're the soldiers, you know, circling the giant, kind of back against the wall. And, you know, this is kind of how the game got created with some legendary bar was telling the tale and he used dice to show the, the great story and how it played out. Um, or maybe it played out for the giants, who knows? Um, every game's different. So basically, you know, you roll the D20, uh, it's a nine. So, I mean, the player can, can win this, you know, relatively easy. Um, they're going to roll at least a five. So, so we got a one, a three, another one, a three, and a two. So that's five, uh, five, eight, nine, ten. So the player does win. So see, there you go. So we do this, you know, forward. Oh, that's a high number for the, the giant. So we have a four, a two, a three, a two, and a two. So that's six, 12. So not enough. So that's another win. That's a win for the giant here. Um, 16. So this is doable. Just got to roll four fours. So we got a one, three, one, one, and one. Wow. Four and a three. That's seven. So that's a loss for the soldiers again. That's another 19. I think I need to roll this in my campaigns. So I, I think you guys get the concept, right? So one, three, three, two, and two. So that's going to be four, uh, seven, uh, 10, 11. So not enough. So the giant wins again on that guy. Um, yeah. So you guys get the concept. It's a really simple game. Um, basically, um, whoever wins the most fights wins the war or wins the battle because essentially if your soldiers survive, they would come over and, and fight and then so on and so forth is the giants. And you could even do that to where if you wanted to in this game, you could have the player, if they have any of the uh, leftover dice, essentially, that are totally intact on the roll, you can say that soldier survived the battle and they can join the other in the next fight and give the, the player a, a better chance if that's what you want. So in, as, as always, I'm gonna end it in the lore segment. Everyone knows the giants exist and, they, and they're rude and they eat people, unless they are confronted by brave and noble soldiers. Although giants sometimes eat them too. 
This game was taught to new recruits joining the militaries of the North as a cautionary tale to never fight alone. The game grew in popularity as these soldiers traveled throughout the lands. So again, you get that little nice little piece of lore segment to really elevate that game. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll keep watching and let us know what you think.